John, thank you. 747, and they are the team responsible to, for defending our skies and securing our seas. But much of the work that's done by the Royal Air Force goes on behind closed doors. Now, a new documentary aims to show what life is like for the pilots and personnel who are working to protect us. Our reporter Zoe O'Brien is at RAF Lossy Mouth this morning. Zoe, I know something very significant about to happen. Yes, absolutely. Good morning from Lossy Mouth. The picture perfect base, which plays a pivotal role in our defences. Now, there is some movement over on the runway to the side of me here. Now, before that jet takes off, I'm just going to introduce you to some of the people who are featured in that documentary. I'm here with Diane and Waggy. Now, sorry if we get interrupted by the noise, but first, I just want to ask you, we talk a lot about the pilots, we talk a lot about the jets, but there is a huge team here, like yourselves, who, who make it all happen. Yeah, huge team at RAF Lossy Mouth, and you know, with the documentary, it's really, it's been really good that everyone else gets it gets to be in the limelight because you know the jets don't get in the air without the whole team well diane tell me what you do so i'm an air and space operations manager i manage a team of 13 specialists and they're responsible for submitting flight plans organizing airspace and providing mission information so that the sub hunters can get out and successfully complete their missions and we're going to find out in the documentary as well, you're pretty tough. You're a boxer and a coach as well. Tell me a little bit about what you do here at Lossie Mouth. So I'm the boxing coach um, along with Martin uh, here at Lossie Mouth. And um, we've got a great club and um, we've got all genders, all ranks, all levels of ability. And um, each week we train twice a week and um, we just get involved in RAF boxing shows, in the championship. Um, so yeah, the documentary showcases our, our team really well. And we've got one of the boxers here, Waggy. Now it's really important to mention as well that you've got Ukrainian family. Uh, how important is your role here at the RAF? How do you feel with everything that's going on back there? As you said, uh, my, my mum's from Ukraine and myself, I was also born in Ukraine. So with the current state of affairs right now in that country and I'm able to help, I give a helping hand. It's a privilege for me, like all the hard work that the people here at Lossy Mouth and the wider RAF are doing and I'm able to be a helping hand and a little part to play in that, it, it, it means a lot to me. And we're also going to see your boxing journey in the documentary, aren't we? Can you tell us anything about how successful it's going to be? Um, I'm not quite sure what is in the documentary because I haven't been able to see it, but I'm looking forward to seeing how it plays a part. I'm just going to pause there because it's about to get pretty loud. Just over on the runway there, we can see that the typhoon is about to take off. Let's just enjoy that. alert aircraft uh, launching on a practice mission uh, just to give you a little sense of what happens here and the purpose of this station ultimately uh, is to protect our nation in the air over the sea and on land and you've just seen one little part of that uh, in, in in reality and, uh, and as you can tell it's quite noisy. With everything that's going on in the world at the moment how busy are you at RAF Lossy Map? How have things changed or have they? Yeah, they're, it's busier than ever. Um, we've always existed here to, to secure the skies and secure the sea. So as you've heard from Diane and Waggy, that's a whole team effort to, to, to conduct those missions, uh, whether that's quick reaction alert, the maritime patrol and force protection on the ground. But since that invasion of Ukraine last February, it's definitely focused our minds. There's, there's, a, there's a more reality to what's happening in Europe at the moment. And we stand ever ready to do what, what we need to do to protect the nation. Can you 
did tell me as well, you know, this is a, a huge base. It's two square miles. You've got 3,000 personnel here. What is it like to be here at RAF Lossie Mount? There is no other place like it. You can tell from, from the weather behind us. and It's beautiful here. The beach is right behind us. The hills are just to the south of us. Um, so what's different about Lossie Mouth is you can find your passion. When you come up here, you can find something that perhaps you've never done before. So not only are you contributing vitally to the mission to help protect our country, but also perhaps you can broaden your mind and do something just a little bit different. Now in the documentary we do see it is a real in-depth look at what you do here and, and you know perhaps given defence strategies why did you decide to do that? Why did you decide to let the public in on what you do? I think we can perhaps be guilty in the military, certainly in the Air Force, of, of, of not always telling our story as, as boldly as we, as we can. We're, we're generally quite understated people who, who just get on with the job, serve the country, but, but it's time to tell, tell that story and just remind the public what we're here to do for them. We're, we're all here to do it all the time, but, but at, at these kind of interesting times in the world, just remind them that, that we're here, that's what their taxpayer money goes on, and we stand ready to do whatever's necessary. What would you say to people who may want to join the RAF after seeing this about just the, the kind of how many careers there are? Yeah, you can do whatever you want in the Air Force. What, whatever, what, wherever you come from, whatever journey you've had in life, there's a place in the RAF for you. And when you're in it, you will be stretched professionally and personally in any way that you want to be. And you'll, you'll, you'll be a better person for it. So come join the team. Thank you so much. Now, if you are interested and you want to see more Top Guns inside the RAF, that begins on Channel 4 this evening. Zoe, thank you. We are, of course, talking about the World Cup final this morning. The morning